how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be revealing a movie that I um I watched it last night, I rented it at Blockbuster. I have heard of it before and it looked very interesting and plus it starred somebody that I met before so I thought I might as well check it out. It is called Do Not Disturb and in 2010 back, I don't know why it's being released now with a newer title. But um, back then used to be called New Terminal Hotel in 2010. I, I don't know why, but they're both the same movies, but um, it stars Stephen Joffreys. And um, I think I have mentioned his name before in earlier reviews and videos and whatnot, and I called him Stephen Jeffries. Unfortunately, I think I was saying that wrong. It's Stephen Joffreys, so sorry about that, Stephen Joffreys. Do Not Disturb, it's pretty strange. It, it um... Stephen Joffreys plays the main character named Don, and Don is a screenwriter, he writes screenplays, and um, he's doing one based off a murderer, I'm assuming, and it turns out that he is a murderer, and he's actually murdering people himself. But that's not all, like, what the story's about, because, um, you know, uh, he also has a backstory about how his wife got murdered and stuff like that, and then this chick Ava always comes over, like, to his hotel to check on him and stuff. It, I mean, it's okay. It honestly really bored me to death. I did not... This is definitely a movie I will never be seeing ever again. Like, I, I it just bored me to death. It, there were some pretty interesting parts and in death scenes and whatnot, but I mean, it is just overall just not very good. I did not care for it at all. And plus, no offense, Stephen Joffreys, but the acting was a little stiff. It was very... The acting was not very good at all, and in fact, it was a bit laughable, but... Um, I don't know. And again, what confuses me about this movie is that it was filmed back in 2010 when it first came out. And it was under the title of New Terminal Hotel. I don't know why it is being released now. Maybe it was filmed some other country, I don't know. But it's being released now called titled Do Not Disturb on DVD. And um, same movie, different title, you know. But uh, whatever, I don't. that kind of confuses me, but... For the movie itself, I did not very find it very interesting. Again, the acting was really stiff, and I just didn't find the story interesting, and the death scenes, it's just overall, it was really boring. I didn't really care for it. Definitely a one-watch kind of movie for me. I wouldn't really suggest this unless you have no, absolutely nothing else to watch. Overall, I'd probably give Do Not Disturb 2 out of 5 stars. It was mediocre. It was okay. I didn't really care for it that much. Um, honestly, it's more towards bad than good. But, um, it was just, I didn't, I, this movie doesn't exist to me anymore. I really didn't care for it. Sorry, Stephen Joffreys, but, um, at least this movie wasn't as bad as Mr. Hush, which was your last movie. Yeah. Alright, guys, that is it for this review. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.